So this is Calicat the Calicat's turn. This is a review of the Orville Shadow Realms, episode two of the, the season of the Orville. Yeah, uh, third season. Uh, they, they go to the the vampire, the the krill, the vampire people. Who are remarkably similar to a race from uh, from the uh, Marvel comics. Uh, they read the book the Navid, not the Avis, to make it not sound as silly. Um, and they warn them not to go into the shadow shadow realm, which is a place beyond uh, a nebula of uh, new stars. Beyond the nebula, there's like demons, creatures, demon creatures. Yeah. So of course they they go. Uh, so the plot device uh, is that uh, the 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 story device is that the um, there there's an admiral visiting the ship that was uh, Claire's former husband. When he was a professor, she was a student. It's kind of kinky. Uh, so apparently they know about... Uh, three or four years ago, they, uh, they they know about the Napa Valley professor and student story that I joked about because it was obvious. So, so, I, was, so I was at my nephew's commencement. It wasn't him, of course. And there was a valedictorian who, a lady who went on and on and on about her professor. So much so, for like a good 20 minutes, how wonderful and glorious a man he was. Oh, God. Eh. It was it was really obvious, she, this lady, who we don't know, was, was shacking up with her professor. Really obvious. Uh, yeah, and uh, sitting in the audience, this commencement thing, in the audience. You know, she didn't hear any of this. Uh, I don't know who she was. But, but yeah, there were two old ladies behind us, and... Uh, no, I was all said to just said to mom. But I think they banged. They banged, didn't they? And those two old ladies behind me chuckled and they said, "Yeah, they they had sex." <laughs> so yes, um, the, 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 so they do. These all other ladies knew the gossip. They, they banged. Whoever these people were, they banged. So don't know who they are. Martha and her husband did not appreciate the joke when told about it later. Even though clearly. They banged. Whoever those two people, strange people were, they banged. So, apparently this Orville episode, aside from being sort of a remake of the Haunted House story, the Alien on the Ship story, uh, also there was a Next Generation episode where everybody was genetically altered, and they were turning into bugs and things and running around. A couple of episodes about that. There was the one with Jordy doing that, and there was one with Barclay doing that as the spiders. A couple of episodes did that. Um, alien DNA is messing with the crew. Uh, nanobots, essentially, but in this case, more like spores. Uh, they go investigate this station without any helmets on, which is really dumb. And the Admiral guy gets blasted in the face by some sort of spore that later on mutates him. So they go back to the, the alien space station and they find that it shoots spores, which they should have been able to detect. So, spore thing is, uh, the aliens reproduce through spitting on the people. Uh, but not very COVID-inducing. Um, but yeah. That's how they bang. See. So the professor guy, admiral guy, immediately is messed up. He's somebody from TNG. I just, I just uh, didn't look at the name. It's somebody from TNG. Playing the admiral guy. Not going to bother looking it up. It doesn't matter. But, um, needless to say, he's, he's screwed. And the aliens are reproduced, uh, uh, steal some of the crewmen. And they, uh, basically, uh, the doctor, of course, whips up a means to, uh, mess up with the aliens' immune system. The aliens have taken over human bodies by messing with the human parts of the, kind of like War of the Worlds, but in reverse. And uh, the aliens uh, come off as the new threat. They want to leave. They, they, they don't want to leave, but they convince them to leave because they're going to spray them with the stuff. And then they spray them with the stuff and they leave. And, but they warn them we're going to attack you again. Uh, this is also similar to a Cillian story, a couple of Cillian stories, and an old, old, old Silly Trek story called Silly Trek the Board, which I was making fun of Best of Both Worlds. 
and the crew was infected by the board, which in the silly version turned them made them wear garish clothing. Because I was thinking of zoot suits, but I didn't have any zoot suits, so I thought uh, the garish clothing of it. Uh, the the yeah, there was a, a story about the zoot suit riots in a career class. It was 1990 or so, so you know things were weird, and that isn't what really happened with the zoot suiters. I know that. But uh, but there was this, this this confusion as to what a so so there were everyone had funny clothing but they looked more like they had T J Maxx or Goodwill clothing on so they weren't zoot suits we didn't offend offend anybody at all doing that I wish it was me doing most of the character and the aliens infected the group it's a haunted house and a haunted living room and it inspired Star Crackers it was one of the stories that inspired Star Crackers Star Crackers is an online uh, that's a sci-fi story, uh, of which there is no script yet for a, a follow-up, but there there are plans to have a follow-up, including a, a joke where uh, where Thompson and Carrie show up together, and there's going to be uh, actually it's probably Kimchi and Carrie. Kimchi shows up and he's and she's all and they're they're going to be in a shuttle and he's all you still can't fly a shuttle. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, um, but yeah, uh, basically says Carrie can't fly a shuttle because he's turned into a spider creature with funny clothes on. Yeah, so there you go. Um, the effects were kind of cool. I mean, had Andrew Bernarius and and uh, Brandon Braga involved. It's bound to be a little interesting. Um. But yeah, yeah, kind of a haunted uh, Halloween episode, basically. But it's nowhere near Halloween, it's June. Probably meant to release this all of this in the fall, and so, you know, but it ended up being June instead. Um, mm, it's also very similar to the, to the uh, uh, Strange Worlds with the Tribbles and the invasion on the ship with the Tribbles and the, and the Bluegills, and they find the Bluegill guy half dead at the end. Very similar to that story. The reason is, ah, we knew what they were going to do, and they knew what we were going to do. Just like on, uh, on some of Discovery Season 4, and some of Strange New Worlds, and some of uh, Picard Season 2. Yes, I had some foreknowledge. Mainly from websites. There was going to be a horror episode about, yeah. You know, so. It wasn't just, we weren't on the set. No. Uh, Jake P, apparently, and, and some other people. Neither. Um, we're on the set. Uh, beating up spider creatures. Hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of the episode, I'll just describe the episode. Uh, it was, uh, it was, um, it was fine. It was, uh, yeah, you got to, uh, the, uh, the alien, the alien admiral hacked into the power, turned off the power, so they had to, like, run around like it was dark on the ship. <laughs> um, the creatures were chasing them. There was a Jeffrey tube seeing them chasing them. And it almost gets Lamar and the other guy. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that was pretty much what you had fine. Um, decent episode. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was alright. Uh, not very jokey. Sort of a horror episode. Uh, reminiscent of, yeah, not so much all Transformers much, but more... Strange Worlds. Remember some of that. And Next Generation. Uh, yeah, it had a little bit of all Transformers much, if you consider the two Possession episodes. Kind of kind of about that. Um, yeah, that's probably what they were thinking. They've seen it. Anyway, so yeah, anyway, so that's, that's the review. Hmm.